last week I reviewed the 2017 Ford Mustang GT. Today I'm going to review my 2017 Subaru WRX. My personal WRX is the base model, which is the, the lowest uh, priced WRX. Then there follows the premium and the limited, and of course the STI after that. Coming along the front bumper, it's exactly the same as a premium or the limited and as a 2015 and 2016 WRX's. Mine does not have the fog lights unfortunately, but it, it, there's no problem with that. Uh, you, you can't fix it on the aftermarket. My wheels and tires, I have the regular base model wheels. They're 18 inch and Personally, I don't really like them that much. I'm planning on changing them in the future. Um, but if you step up to the premium, you get the 19 inch wheels. All right, so for the interior of the Subaru WRX, well, first, you, first thing you notice is sitting down in these seats. Now, at first, they are really comfortable. No problem at all. It has really good bolstering on your back and on your thigh support but once you go into long trips about three to four hours uh, your lower back starts hurting a bit other than that the seats are not that great i really like this steering wheel it has a flat bottom it has a subaru sign in the middle it has uh, some button clusters here and they're not that bad they're not too confusing they're pretty good we also have an, another cluster of buttons in the back of the steering wheel which move the, the LCD screen in the middle of the gauges there and you can select just a few options. Coming along the center of the dashboard here, now you have your automatic climate control and some of the features that the new WRXs have. They have a little screen which shows your boost gauge which is my favorite uh, part of that it has your time your tire pressure your miles per gallon um, on that note uh, miles per gallon on this car is not that bad i'm averaging 24.6 in the city and 24.6 on the highway and, um, the infotainment system on my car um, they upgraded that since 2016 it's not too bad it's not the best quality of audio here you can go ahead and step up to the to the premium or the limited models and you will be able to get a subwoofer in the back and a large larger screen some a uh, little bit more refined uh, uh, volume and audio knobs but I mean the button quality on this is perfectly fine no problems with that as far as storage space goes with my car you have a uh, a uh, map pocket and a uh, bottle holder there. Now we have two cup holders right here in the middle. Then we have something that represents like a cubby. It is pretty deep and uh, we can put some things in there. Now we also have this center armrest which is deep. It contains your auxiliary jack, your USB port and a uh, for the trunk space, it's a uh, it's a really nice uh, room. And you can fit a few golf uh, golf bags, some uh, luggage. All right, so Subaru has this regular key for the car. If you want to get the push start button, you go ahead and upgrade to limited. But as for now, this is just the the simple key. Let's go ahead and start it up and let her run. Right, so setting off in the 2017 Subaru WRX. Well, as you may know, this is a car I own. I daily drive it every day to work. I do cross the mountain Monday through Friday. But you can hear every single rock, every single little piece of gravel that bounces off the ground onto the car. And it's just um, not so good to hear. So like I said before, these seats hold you in very tight and they're comfortable for the most part. But once you start going on to long trips, 
uh, it, they're not the best of seats. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going on long trips. All right, so let's put this into sport mode. And let's see about this power, shall we? video please hit that like button and I would truly appreciate that thank you all for watching peace out yeah.